Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! Everybody strap in! I'm about to open some fucking windows. Alright, so my previous political videos were so fucking, like, hated to the point where, like, you actively had, like, people going out of their way to go into the comment section and say some of the nastiest shit to me possible. Oh, don't believe me? Well, there's just straight-up anti-Semitism in the comment section, that's for sure. But, you know, regardless of what's being said, I would like to give a shout-out to someone who was actually pretty nice. Uh. This person, right here, give that person some good old-fashioned head pats right there. Pretty epic. P pretty epic. But regardless of what's being said, I think to uh, make things clear, like, I do not have an issue with Donald Trump. My issue is with his supporters. Why? Because they've completely misrepresented the man into thinking that he's just like them in every single way, shape, or form imaginable. I've researched into Trump, and if you guys actually spoke to Trump, you'd probably end up like how o Kanye ended up when he was talking to him at the White House, and that didn't end up pretty. So, let's talk about who Trump really is. Well, for starters, Trump loves pornography, and I know you guys hate pornography as you always use that as a way to virtue signal, being all like, oh, it's bad because lost in seven deadly sins and oh, whatever, but like, bro, like, really think about it like this. For me, like, you, you'd see me and you'd assume that I'm some sort of like, you know, porn addict when like, the thing about it is with me is that I have like actually pretty strict limits to pornography. Anything live action is off limits to me. Yes, even OnlyFans shit. I know OnlyFans stuff isn't really like the human trafficking type of shit that you'd see on like, you know, those professional like paid subscription websites, but I don't care. Something about it just rubs me the wrong way and still feels manipulative no matter what. However, if it's drawn, I don't really have a problem with it because, well, it's just a drawing. Like, they're, they're not big human trafficked if it's a drawing, you know? But whatever the case may be, you know, like, yeah, like, it is still live action stuff with Trump, as can be seen with this Playboy cover. But honestly, like, the thing about it is, is that it's very hypocritical for these people to talk about religion and seven deadly sins and lust and all this bullshit while they're supporting a man who probably banged a bunch of prostitutes. So, yeah. Another thing, too, is that these people want to talk about how, oh, they love DeSantis, even though Trump himself has made fun of those people. The greatest moment of the debate when Ron was walking around the sanctimonious was walking off the stage. And his feet, it's weird, because his cowboy boots. So they have a high heel outside, but inside you got a big deal going on. And he's walking like... No, he's walking off the stage like he's trying to balance himself. I thought he was wearing ice skates. Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't have an issue with Trump because I see him to actually be someone who's actually redeemable because he's made fun of horrible people. and. You know, with his ideas of pornography, he seems to actually be kind of like, you know, reassurance in the ideas of freedom when it comes to sexual shit like that. Now, the thing about it is, is that people see what's going on with Project 2025 and thinking that that was Trump's idea. No, that was not Trump's idea. That was the GOP's idea. And there's probably a ton of shit in there that he probably disagrees with. The only stuff in there that I think he would agree with is stuff that would grant him more power. So, yeah. Regardless of what's being said, I absolutely hate how these people want to misrepresent what I say just because I'm left-wing. Like, look, the thing about it is that political bias aside, people who are like Trump supporters think in absolutes, and it's absolutely annoying. Yeah, see what I did there? Absolutely. Absolutes. But whatever the case may be, right? 
contrary to popular belief, I don't think all Republicans are bad, similar to how, like, you have it where, like, all these, like, right-wingers think that all liberals are bad. Like, there's, there's a type of Republican that, you know, I see that just want to grill. These are, as I call it, the Tim Allen types, you, you know, like, on that show, uh, Home Improvement, Tool Time, you know, like, those are what I consider to be actually good Republicans, normal Republicans, Republicans I would actually like to hang out with. And they probably would also vote for Trump, too, but they wouldn't vote for DeSantis. Also, you know, speaking of which, just the thing, too, a lot of, like, Republicans are starting to turn against DeSantis because they're seeing how little progress he's made in Florida. Oh, but he's made plenty of progress by starting up moral panics. Yeah, no, bullshit. Like, listen, the thing with that is, is that Florida is still kind of a mess. Like, here's the thing, right? I've always, like, been an advocate for walkable cities, right? And New York City, when I went there for the first time, I loved it because of the fact that you could just go from point A to point B on foot pretty quickly. Like, you could go somewhere to eat, pick something up, and then go back to your hotel pretty quickly. You can't do that in Florida because everything is highways, sidewalks, and it's just, it's it's a safety hazard. It really is. And it's not fair to people who can't drive, you know? Because, believe it or not, those people exist, you know? And I'm one of them. So, yeah, like, honestly, I think it's kind of a, you know, obnoxious that, you know, people are praising DeSantis for attacking a company that's headquarters isn't even in the same state, but he's not doing anything to fix the infrastructure of the actual state itself, you know? Oh, yeah, guys, let's, let's, let's prop up moral panics built up by retards on the internet as opposed to making our state better. You see, at least with Trump, he did, like, some stuff that was beneficial, by, like, actually, like, preventing wars, scaring people like Kim Jong-un, and actually doing some good stuff for the economy. So, that's good, alright? I appreciate that. But, you know, like, the thing about it is, is that, like, I just don't understand. I don't understand how these people, they see me, I tell them I'm left-wing, and they immediately have this stereotype in their head. Maybe that's what it is. Seeing as how these people like to use eugenics as arguments instead of actually using, you know, proper arguments to actually go against someone, like, it usually tends to be that they have their fixed mindset based on stereotypes. And that's why these people, instead of actually being respected, they should be harassed, which is how it used to be. People like Wings of Redemption and Chris Chan used to be harassed all the time for being racist and just generally bigoted. But now that type of reward, that type of behavior is rewarded. Stupid. Like, come on, guys. Like, how are we going to allow this shit to slide? Even though, like, the person you claim to be about this shit really isn't, because he's attacked Kanye West, he's attacked Ron DeSantis, so why are you guys all of a sudden just being all like, oh yeah, racism's good, it's fucking retarded.